planning for our futures and how do we um, ensure that we hit our goals? I don't care what kind of goal that is. Doesn't matter if it's for your health, your relationships, your finances, your family goals, whatever it is that you may have. There's actually a, a very simple way to ensure that you hit your goals. I want to read you just a couple of verses. This is out of Revelation 21. This is verse seven and eight. The one who conquers will have this heritage and I will be his God and he will be my son. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for the murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. I believe very firmly that every word in scripture is written in the in the order of importance not just every word in scripture is important but the order of which it is even written is important in this scripture what we are seeing is that there there are two things that god's focus is turned onto and how this not only plays into life on this earth but also life in in, in our next life what happens in after we leave this earth, right? Number one, the one who conquers will have a heritage. That's the that's the number one thing is that this there is an end to there isn't there is a reason why we are all here and there will be an end to that reason. Okay. There will be a way because it says the one who who conquers, right? A conquer uh, a co to, to do conquering, that means something must not have been subdued. At one point in time, it was not subdued. Then there was a fight for it. There was a battle for it. And then it was conquered. That was the final stage. So the one who gets all the way to the final stage, okay? Notice it doesn't say the one who, who goes ahead and tries his hardest. It doesn't say the one who gives it a, the old college try or their best shot, right? It doesn't say the guy who participated and got a trophy. For his efforts it says the one who actually did the thing the one who actually conquers he gets a heritage who doesn't get a heritage here again i believe very firmly that the order of words is very important when we are looking at uh scripture and the first thing that's listed is a coward wouldn't you think that it would be the swindler, the cheater, the liar, the murderer, the rapist, the, um, you know, Ponzi scheme developer, the, the person who is highly immoral and things like Epstein Island and all those type of things. Notice doesn't say that actually. Mm -hmm. Those people are included later on. You know, the first thing is that God hates so much so that he's judging them first the coward. When you're looking at your life, doesn't matter if you're looking at it from, okay, I'm, I'm headed in this direction. This is the next thing I want to do. I need to just hurry up and get over, you know, this thing with the narcissist or, you know, when I'm 80 or whatever it is, we often like to put off these, these things and in like into infinity because it means that less responsibility falls on us in this moment right now. But what we need to be paying attention to is actually, am I, am I allowing fear to slowly steal life from me? Okay, because that's really what a coward is. This is somebody who does not believe, is not fully convinced that the Lord's goodness is towards them, that they are fully loved, fully adored, fully created in the image of their creator fully capable of overcoming whatever challenge it is that they're facing now and in the future. And so instead of actually confronting even themselves and their own beliefs, their own mindsets, their own um, belief structure, what they do is they tell themselves, I can't do that right now. I have to take care of this thing first. Oh, this thing over here. Remember how I talked about distractions before? And especially when we are dealing with somebody who it's clear that they have codependent tendencies, codependent issues, and 
uh, uh, could even have that generationally. So this is not just a personality defect or a uh, behavior that they have. This is actually a bloodline curse, okay? Is that they're not going to take care of the, the very obvious and very big pressing issues in their lives. What instead they're going to do is try to be distracted at somebody else over here. You know, Susie's dog, you know, escaped and I got to go spend 10 days and every hour, every day chasing down this dog. They will get in these crazy um, distraction mindsets. And before you know, everything is going to be a distraction. And then they're calling that into their lives, actually. And then you'll notice that everything in their house is breaking and their car isn't working. And it's just this never ending thing. And that actually has to do with the energy transfer that they, they have been sowing energy into the distractions. And so the distractions are like, oh, good, we found a home. Let's, let's go over here. This is a spirit uh, behind all of this.